Hello, my name's Tom. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about news, reviews and rides going on in the PV community. On this episode, we're doing a 500 mile review of the Apex Predator. So let's check it out. So in this episode we're going to be doing a full 500 mile review of the board talking about the positives, the negative, the range, the speed, the power, the trucks, the deck and all that good stuff uh, in a full comprehensive review um, after riding this board for 500 miles. Okay let's first of all talk about board specification working from the front all the way down. Now as you can see on my board I don't have a ball bar. Uh, some of the other Predator boards out there have ball bars. I personally I don't like them but we're going from the front all the way down. So we're starting off with the tyres. All around we've got the 8-inch Schitzlinger tyres from Apex. Really good tyre, not very expensive either. Good overall, uh, good overall tyre for all situations, which I absolutely love. Moving on to the Apex Airs, which I think are the future of trucks out there. I don't see anything else coming close to them at the moment. Here are our Bro deck, which is a really, really uh, stable deck. Nice and stiff, which I didn't think I'd like, but we'll go into more detail on that in a second. The riser pads, which are great for cable management, also give you a little bit of cushion on your feet. MBS bindings, which are like little clouds to your feet. Moving on to the battery, the battery is a 12S6P 21700 cell configuration battery. And then moving down, we've got the Zenith uh, V2, I believe, as the uh, ESC at the back. Moving on to the moon drives, which will be the gear drive system for this board, which has the motors, which are 6374 190kV motors. So let's get ourselves started. First talking about the deck. So the deck on this board is a Hero Bro skin that's had a full reskin, um, so it's Apex uh, Predator branded on it. To be honest, I'm loving the uh, black and white style. I think it's very sleek, very stealthy. But let's talk about how the deck feels. Now I've gone from a Tramper deck to a LaCroix deck to a Volve deck. But for me personally, this is a really, really comfortable deck. With the width of the deck, your feet don't overhang like on other mounting boards. So you've got a nice wide footprint. The rebound's really good and the stiffness is really good. I've always preferred a very bouncy, flexible deck, but this deck is absolutely fantastic with a nice wide concave on it, nice and uh, wide foot stance and a really strong material. I've got really good confidence on this deck holding up for a long, long time. And also, I think it looks really sick as well. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the Apex S. Now I don't normally talk about trucks very much uh, on my reviews, I normally just go, it feels quite nice and that's it. But these Apex Airs need the whole individual um, shout out to be honest. Because I've ridden Evolve trucks, Hyper trucks, MBS, uh, 3D services trucks and to be honest, out of every single truck I've ever had, these are my absolute favourite. Mostly because of the configuration of it all, so you can have it a really stiff setup if you're doing high speeds, really chop and change in it with a simple nut and bolt, and then you've got yourself a really nice carvey setup. The adjustability, and all I would recommend, if you're getting yourself some airs, stick a couple spare bushings in your bag, and then when you're going for a ride, you can have adjustments on where you go. For me, I went to uh, a go-kart track a little while ago, and then we go barrels and cones, but as soon as I needed really more turning, double cones, five minute job, and I'm back on the track with a whole new setup. A um, couple of things to make note of, that the trucks do this weird wobbly thing when they ride, which absolutely freaked the hell out of me. But for some reason, those little adjustments really uh, give it really good stability at high speeds. I've managed to get this board at some ridiculous speeds at times, but with that wobbliness, it seems to hold on really well. I have had an accident on this board, um, but I think that's a multitude of many things, but the um, full description of that event uh, will be in the description below what happened. But overall, the airs are really lightweight, they're built really, really well, and the adjustability is, um, there's nothing on the market that does anything like this at the moment. But the Apex Airs, absolutely fantastic. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the gear drive. Now the gear drive on this uh, board is a moon gear drive. Um, I've had a few gear drives. I had a gear drive on the Tramper. I've had gear drives on the Bio board and the Croix. But these moon drives are so, so cheap and so uh, perform so, so well. And the sound of it is so, so nice. Check this out. The sound of this board sounds like an F1 car and one thing that was really strange I had when I first got this board 
I like to cause gears anxiety because I've had boards in the past where the gears will keep snapping and breaking all the time. I've had this board fall at 39 miles an hour, ricochet down the uh, racetrack, and it's been absolutely mint. No problems at all. Um, I did get myself an extra gear drive because they're so small and they are really easy to kind of stick in your bag, lightweight, and chop and change them is really good. Also, the simplicity of them. I hate those gear drives which you need five different toolkits to open it up. With this one, you only need one head, you can open up the whole thing and it's easy to chop and change. So if you're out on a ride, you only need a Phillips head, a couple of little bits and you're absolutely fine. No problems at all. I've put um, some lubrication in it because after 500 miles, you want to keep it topped up. But you could ride this system dry. Um, uh, that's what Lee Wright says in his channel. But for me, the moon dry is probably one of my favorite drives I've ever used. It? And they're so, so cheap as well. The next thing we're going to talk about is the build quality. As a prototype board, build quality is absolutely outstanding. Every single element has been thought about. Um, the stability of the board, I don't feel like any nuts or bolts are gonna fall out as I go. Um, I've had one issue um, with maintenance of the board. The charging port cover was rotating a little bit. Um, spoke to Apex and they just gave me like a little bit of epoxy um, and event, fixed up, no issues, no problems. Really quick and simple. Um, made the parts they've chose, uh, chosen to use are just brilliant, like everything makes sense, Access accessibility for parts for changing is really good, so if you want to chop, chop and change a wheel, super easy, um, if you want to have a look at the battery open up for maintenance, super easy, just pop the lid open, all these little things have been thought, out, thought about and it's resulted in a really nice high-end premium, and I'm saying premium off-road build and to be honest I don't see any other mountain board on the market like this at the moment which is absolutely smashing it. Yes there's other mountain boards out there but simplicity I think I have to give it to Apex. Another thing that I think I lack on saying at times is ride feeling and this board it seems to with the adjustability of the Apex Airs and the Hero Bro deck nice wood wide foot stance and with the bindings ride feeling on this board is absolutely fantastic i seem to find most of the time this is the board i'm taking out for rides the battery is a nice good size the carvability is really good it whips around really nicely and obviously with the apex airs and the bushings you can chop and change the feeling uh, really easy on the fly and tune this board to be exactly how you want it to be so i have a really nice deep carving style on this i can jump on it up and down curbs and stability is fantastic so ride feeling the carviness absolutely spot on. Next thing we're going to talk about is the bindings. I wasn't really looking forward to these. I just thought bindings are bindings. What's the difference? I had my tramping bindings in the fine. They were absolutely fine until I tried the MBS bindings. And they are like little pillows for your feet. They are so, so comfortable. I don't know if I could ever go back um, to use anything else but MBS bindings. They are so, so soft. And what's good about them is where you break them in over time, they will mold to your feet. So one thing I would advise with bindings is work out your heel strap, where that needs to be, and then only open the top strap because then your feet size never changes, but you can adjust the pressure on your feet. The MBS bindings are so, so comfortable. I can't recommend them enough. So this is the bit everyone always wants to talk about, speed and range. So with the uh, board with a 12S 6P battery, I can go from a 20 mile ride of super hard off-road riding, like max speed the whole time, to about 30 miles on a single charge with more kind of conservative road riding. I think that's a really good happy medium. I used to say my 12S 6P battery was a good um, overall size of battery. Any larger, it's gonna weigh the system down and it's gonna change how you use the board. But the 12 s 6P battery gives you the range you need uh, for almost all opportunities. If you're going for a long ride, just take a charge out of you, top it up in an hour or two, and then that will bring you up to about 30, maybe 40 miles in a single night. Absolutely fine for you need for range. Talking about the speed, now, most rides when I go out of this board, I always get about 30 miles an hour, 32 miles an hour, every single ride. I'm actually faster on this board than anything else I have at the moment because I feel so stable on it. But top end, we've got this board up to 39 miles an hour at a consequence. Um, I was at a racetrack, had an accident, uh, full description will be in, um, full events of what happened will be in the description below. But yeah, I had a bit of a gnarly accident at 30 miles an hour. 39 miles an hour of the board, but it absolutely survived, but it can do that high end speed if you really, really want it to, which I wouldn't recommend. So here's the saucy bit. We're going to talk about negatives and critiques. 
So let's talk about critiques and negatives. There's a few little things which are teething issues with this board, which I want to mention, um, and areas of development. So first of all, I've had one thing go wrong for me on this board, which is the charging port. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of got rounded off when it was done in. Um, I don't know if I've been too false when I was using the charging port, but I spoke to Apex, they, um, I met them at uh, eBay, gave us a little bit of help, epoxied the charging port, no issues at all. The only problem I'd say is the charging port location, which is underneath the clip, it's a bit difficult. You need to raise up the clip to get your uh, charging port in. But that's a small little pet peeve going on. Um, another thing I'd say is the acceleration. It's a tiny bit lacking only when you're in a competitive situation. Most of the time when I ride this board, it's absolutely perfect for all situations. But as a competitive edge, I think the motors could be a little bit larger or the battery configuration could be a little bit higher, maybe 13, 14S maybe just to give a tiny bit more torque for acceleration. Um, but I'm not an engineer, but in regards to performance, that's the only time I see myself lacking behind other boards at, at this caliber. Um, and then the final negative, kind of I would say, is because these are prototypes and they're early adopters, it's lacking um, availability for the consumer. There's only five or 10 of these out at the moment, uh, which are out in the public. So people really want to get them, but they can't get them at the moment because they're doing natural growth as part of Apex. And I think a lot of companies we've had with Inersion or Boosted, where they've done unnatural un uh, growth, has come as a negative to companies, actually ended up failing the company for do so. So it's a bit frustrating that availability is lacking for some people. If people like, oh, I really want to get one, where do I buy one? Um, but it's just natural growth. So keep your eye out on, uh, uh, Apex's Instagram and Facebook and they'll be announcing more and more boards as they come naturally but hopefully as people buy them availability will uh, improve. Okay let's talk about the positives. Now for me I absolutely love this board. Out of every single board I've ever had this is probably my most favourite board. The power to weight ratio is fantastic. Um, I get a nice solid range out of it, it's reliable, I don't get gear breaking all the time, nuts and bolts don't come flying out of it. It's a really nice solid, solid board. As you can see I've customised it a little bit for the purple, made it my own little thing because I couldn't have it exactly the same. But the gear drive is reliable, the, the uh, ESC is really reliable, I've had no problems with that. And every single component seems to hold out really, really well, except for a couple of small little teething issues. But I think the airs give you nice freedom to customise the board how you want it to be, give it more stability, less stability, whatever you want to do. And it's a really convenient system to kind of adjust the board on the fly really, really easy. But overall, this is my most favourite board at the moment. So let's talk about the ESC. And the ESC is a Zenith inside the enclosure. Now, when I um, spoke to them about them, I said, can we upgrade to something like a storm core, something else? And to be honest, this ESC has been absolutely pro uh, perfect. I've had no issues, no uh, bricking of the boards. I've had in other boards with the ESC locking up. Super, super convenient. And it's a really good for affordable option uh, for the board. Zenith, really, really good ESC. Another thing I want to mention, which I haven't mentioned yet, is the Meta app. These boards have a Meta app built into them. So basically what that means is you can look at your phone and track all your rides with such detail. I thought, don't care, not interested. But so many times I look back at a ride and go, where was my fastest point? Where did I use the most consumption? Also, it points out errors. So if there's any errors on the board, um, I can report that to Apex and say, to by the way, I got this error, can you help me? Quick service, they know exactly what's happened and where it's happened and why. So that Meta app, I couldn't rate highly enough. It tracks your range, your speed, your power, um, your uh, acceleration, where you are on the GPS map, everything. It's a fantastic system and I really hope more and more boards have this built into them. Okay, so that's my conclusion of the Apex Predator. Probably an absolute predator on the market right now and probably one of my most favourite boards uh, of all time. But if you stay tuned to the end, I want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more content. comes out on a weekly basis. And I hope you take care and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.